Welcome to Alistair Knox's Satanic Audio Blog. This week, Satanic Ritual Sacrifice. Just like the tides of the ocean, magic ebbs and flows. There are certain times that magic contains more energy, and taking advantage of the surge is beneficial for the Satanic practitioner. The desires of the practitioner are carried directly to the source, and their wishes are granted by Satan and the hosts of hell. Those are wondrous experiences, and they open the door for more advanced magical operations. The lunar cycles do not control Satanists when planning rituals and magical workings. As I have said in previous blogs, there is more magical energy during a full moon and a new moon than there is at other times, and this does benefit by increasing the energy force available and setting the mood for the ritual. However, Satan nor demons are bound to full moon arrivals. They are free to manifest as they desire. When you call a demon, it does not matter what phase of the moon it is or what time it is. If you are sincere in your intention and approach, you will get results. I have witnessed this countless times. The calling of the blessed guests from hell should always be the first order of business when conducting a working. You need to establish the connection early so that you can communicate your will and desires to your guests. As the energy is heightened, the being will connect with you and the ritual performed. When the events unfold, some practitioners will become frightened. It is natural. After all, they are witnessing something for the first time that is in direct conflict with their physical world. Even the new initiates who are excited about experiencing these manifestations will be taken aback, especially when these events take place. No amount of mental preparation is adequate. Anton LaVey wrote and spoke many times about satanic ritual sacrifice by proxy. Satanists will perform these rituals from time to time since people will inevitably wrong one another. Ancient satanic cultures practiced actual sacrifices of animals and even humans. In modern times, everyone likes to smooth over the sacrifice subject and always use the voodoo doll analogy. In the past, Sacrifice was not by proxy, teddy bear, nor Barbie doll. It was a real sacrifice. This was no different than the virgin being thrown into the volcano to appease the tribal gods. The Satanists believe the blood, especially from a newborn child, held magical properties that would enable the energy to be heightened during rituals. Some coven believe that the infliction of sustained pain by the victim will greatly increase this energy. For instance, increasing the pain of an animal, such as a goat, would release an adrenaline into the bloodstream so that the animal's throat, when finally cut and the blood drained into a chalice, would increase the power that could be extracted from the blood when drank and mixed with certain drugs. Aleister Crowley experimented extensively at the Abbey of Thelema in Sicily. One approach was to have sexual intercourse with and cut the animal's throat at the time of human's orgasm. The blood was ingested and a higher spiritual plane was reportedly reached. The workings of the ancients have taught us a lot in the form of what works and what doesn't work. As Satanists explore the realms of magic in the future, I am confident other workings will be devised and new ways to harness satanic energy will be found. Until then, 
we must always reach for the outer limits of magical operations and strive to discover new territory for the next generation to come. Until next time, this has been Alistair Knocked. Visit my website at www.alistairknocked.com. Hail Satan.